These are the Bear Dynamic DX160IE and DX120IE in-ear headphones that retail for $115 and $89 respectively. Hi, I'm David Carnley and welcome to another CNET video review of a pair of headphones. In this case, it really is a pair as these Bear Dynamics share so much in common that it doesn't seem worth doing two separate video shoots for them. In case you've never heard of Bear Dynamic, it's a German headphone company that makes some very good sounding headphones, some of which are very expensive. The models you see here represent the company's attempt at serving up more mainstream headphones at more affordable price points, and indeed both are up there with the best in-ears we've heard in their price range. These two Bear Dynamics sound similar, but there's a bit more life and detail with the DX160IE sound, so we've naturally spent more time with that model. Both come with seven different sizes of silicone tips, one pair of Comply tips, and carrying cases. The more expensive DX160 comes with a hard carrying case, while the DX120 comes with more of a pouch style case. Unfortunately, neither features a mic or phone controls, which is too bad. The cables are a little unusual. The headphones have two part flat cables. The Y top part terminates in a 3.5 millimeter plug, and there's an extension cable. The Y cable is just 14 inches long, whereas the extension adds another 35 inches. These guys feature black all-metal earpieces with 10 millimeter drivers and impedance is rated at 47 ohms. Comfort and sound isolation were average for this type of design. Pretty good, but not great. The DX160 IE delivers a lot of bass, but it's not thick or muddy. Definition is excellent and this headphone sound clicked with rock, jazz, electronic, and classical music. Mid-range detailing is excellent, but treble clarity is somewhat lacking. The DX120, meanwhile, is a tad more laid back, and that's a plus if you listen to a lot of less than seller MP3s and streaming sources. Compared to another $100 in-ear audio file favorite, the Hi-Fi Man RE400, that model is a little bit more accurate, but doesn't have as much bass. It's a matter of taste which one you prefer, but bass fanatics should be quite happy with the DX160, though, as with all in-ears, the quality of that base is dependent on how tight a seal you can get. I'm David Carnoy, and those are the Bear Dynamic DX160IE and DX120IE, a pair of bona fide audiophile in-ear headphones for around 100 bucks. Thanks for watching.